Good morning, Malice and Cardinals. It's Miss Nikki. I am going to be reading you the first chapter of the Donut Fix. So get your books out and let's dive in together. Chapter one. It started off like any normal Saturday with Janine, Zoe, and me flipping through cookbooks on the living room floor. For mom teaching us to bake was right up there with teaching us to read. As soon as we were old enough to digest chocolate, we got a, a dessert day, one day a week to make whatever we wanted. We'd pick our recipes on Saturday morning, then shop for ingredients after eating breakfast at Barney Greengrass, a deli a few blocks up Amsterdam Avenue from our apartment. I've been working my way through Roland Mesner's Basic Two Beauty Cakes since I got it for my birthday in July. Roland is the king when it comes to cake. He was the White House pastry chef for 25 years. That morning, I decided to tackle the White House Chocolate Dome Cake Roland created for President Jimmy Carter, minus the nasty orange syrup he uses. Except for cutting out the stuff I hate, I usually follow the recipe exactly, which drives mom crazy. See, she says, you have to make a recipe your own, but she's a professional. As usual, it took Zoe no time at all to pick her dessert because she always chooses snickerdoodles and knows the ingredients by heart. Janine couldn't make up her mind between triple chocolate chip cookies and banana pie. Janine is gifted and talented, which means no matter the question, she's always sure there's a right answer. So when there is no right or wrong, when it's just red or blue, plain or sesame, she totally falls apart. I was rooting for the cookies for the simple reason that Banafe pie is disgusting. I never even, it never even gets cooked. So it's all cold and slimy like hand sanitizer. Ugh. I kept my opinion to myself though. I may be two years older, but Janine never listens to me about anything, not even dessert. According to New York City's Department of Education, I, Tristan Levine, am not gifted or talented. I can make a perfect chocolate chip cookie, but mom made sure we could all do that. I'm not, I'm, I am, I'm not clearly, I am not entirely clear on what about me isn't G and T material, but I'm guessing the fact that I use my fingers to do my nines trick as has something to do with it. When Janine turned seven, it was like God had downloaded every single multiplication fact right into her brain. What I do get the whole G and T thing is that it's not something I can change. I'm pretty good at knowing what I can control and what I can't. I guess that's not something G and T tests for because Janine never knows. I used to think my name was one of those things that I just stuck with. But when I found out that you can legally change your name, Uncle Uncle Charlie Un Uncle Ralph, now Uncle Damon did it. Personally, I don't think Damon any better than Ralph, but never as bad as Tristan. What do you think of Jax? There's something especially cool about a name that with an X in it, right? But then something sometimes I wonder if it sounds too much like a dog. Here, Jax, roll over, Jax. You can change your name till you're you you can't change your name until you're 18, and I'm only 12, so I've got some time. When half an hour had gone by and Janine still hadn't picked her dessert, I told my parents I'd meet them at breakfast. 
Barney's opens at 8.30, and if you're not there by 9, you'll never get a table, even if you are a regular. Barney's isn't fancy or any, anything. The wallpaper is peeling and has food smears on it, and most of the chairs are crisscrossed with duct tape. But I'm telling you, one, one of that matters once you taste, none of that matters once you taste the food. If I could eat only one thing for the rest of my life, it would be Barney's eggs and onions. The eggs are so creamy. They taste like cus custard. And the onions are so sweet. I swear they were cooked in maple syrup. Then there's the smell. Just one whiff of that air dripping with chicken soup sauteed onions and garlic bagels and shazam the whole world goes all wiggly woggly big glass elevator crashing through the ceiling happy ending that math test i have monday who cares that gang of weight lifting private school jerks taking over the basketball courts no problem it's all going to work out just fine not. That's the Barney magic. And once you feel it, you can never get it. My grandmother puts up these fresh air things all over her apartment. Then her, they, they have names like Irish Metal and Seaside. I want a gizmo I can plug in and wham! That room smells like Barney Greengrass. Normally, Barney won't let you sit unless everyone in your party is there. But since we're regulars, Zippo let me go straight to our table. Hey, kid, he said, holding out his palm. Hey, I said, smashing it as I slid into a booth next to the window display of uh, Kamala uh, Breads. The usual, he rolled over a picnic from one side of his mouth to the other. Uh-huh. What about mom? I have to check if the cow pesh is ready. Zippo has known mom for all her life. She grew up coming to Barney's with her parents, and Zippo was already a waiter back then. The guys in the kitchen loved her because she gets the cow pesh. According to Zippo, very few people order kale pesh anymore and, no, and nobody but her ever orders it for breakfast. So, she's something of a celebrity. If you don't know, kerplesh is like Jewish wong tong soup. I'm not a huge fan, but you could decide for yourself. She and da Dad both want kale pesh, I said. Really? Time's getting kelpesh, Zippo said, expressed, impressed. And what about uh, thing one and thing two? Plain bagel with cream cheese. That's it. That's it, I said. Zippo rolled his eyes and then disappeared into the kitchen. I don't know how long I was waiting, but by the time everyone else got there, the food was already on the table, and I was halfway done. When I looked up from my plate, there they, they were making their way through the crowd by the counter. Zoe was crying and my father was carrying her way out in front of him to keep from getting stuck with one of the many chopsticks poking out of her hair. Mom puts her hair with chopsticks when she's cooking, but she uses only one. Her hair wouldn't even hold more than two. But Zoe's hair is like Velcro. Curly, orange, gravity-defined Velcro. Of course my parents love it because the rest of us, including them, have boring, dirty colored hair. It's not just my parents either. Everyone loves Zoe's hair. Teachers, waiters, bus drivers, strangers on the subway. And the ones who don't know about the biting will even try to touch it. Oh, my goodness. No more crying, Zozo, Mom was saying as they got to the booth. 
Zoe dialed back and wailing to a whimper. What happened, I said. You, the you-know-what, was out in front of that new restaurant on 86, Janine said, and uh, she slid in, as she slid into the booth. Zoe is terrified of that 20-foot blow-up rat with red eyes that shows up around the city whenever somebody hires non-union workers. If you hire guys who aren't in the union, you can pay them less. But the union guys get really mad and park the rat outside your job so everyone knows that you don't hire union guys. I'm not sure why it's a 20-foot rat, except that it, it's gross and hard to miss. I want to go home the other way, Zoe whimpered. Don't worry, we're going to the garage anyway, Dad said, groaning as he lowered Zoe into the booth. I don't know how my parents can lug Zoe around everywhere. She feels like she's made of, uh, of a bowling ball. It's not as if she's big four-year-old either. Dad says it's because she's solid, which I don't get. Aren't we all made of the same stuff inside? How can her insides be more solid? What do we need the car for, I said. Road trip, Mom said. Apple picking. They have those pink ladies, the small ones we got at the farmer's market that time. And I found another farm on the way that makes its own ice cream. Cool, I said. Do you need, do you know what flavor they have? If you're asking if they have olive oil, I think it's unlikely, she said. I, I had been, ever since my parents told us, um, let me see, ever since my parents took us to this Italian restaurant downtown that made it, I've been on a quest. I know olive oil ice cream sounds like it violates some specific law of the universe, but the weirdest thing is when you taste it, some, something you, something you ever thought about ice cream gets completely turned around. Vanilla seems wrong, chocolate, crazy, olive oil, what God put on earth so we could turn it into ice cream. The whole experience was really messed with me. I mean, if olive oil is really supposed to be made into ice cream, maybe we've been using other foods like foods all wrong too. Like maybe there should be a steak flavored yogurt. Sorry, said mom, but maybe we'll have some fabulous flavors they make with stuff from the farm, like pears and buttermilk. Not the same, I said. Get over it, nutty, she said, slapping me with her scarf. Nutty is what mom calls us when we're being thick. It's short for nutnik, which means stupid in Danish, a language where, grandpa where our grandparents spoke and pretty much nobody else does anymore. I, I guess that's kind of the point. It's not like she wants people to understand what she's saying. Besides, nutty sounds sort of nice the way she says it. And moron sounds bad no matter how you say it. Mom tasted the soup and made a face. Kel Pesh cold. Zippo was, Zippo will reheat it, Dad said. It's busy, I don't want to bother him. Janine pulled her untouched, untouched bagel uh, across the table. What's wrong with you, I said through a mouthful of eggs. Ask her, she pointed at Zoe with one hand and showed me a band-aid on the other. She was taking too long, Zoe said, looking at me through the holes of the bagel, bagel halves. It doesn't matter how long she was taking, Dad said. No biting 
ever. We use our words. For some reason, when my parents talk to Zoe, it's always we. We use our words. We don't blow bubbles in our milk through a straw up our nose. We don't scream when we see a bald person. But I did use my words. I told her she was taking too long. The, word did, the words didn't work. I was with Zoe on this one. Sometimes Janine leaves you no choice. Besides, it's a, she's a drama queen most of the time. Zoe doesn't even break the skin. Thank you so much for reading with me chapter one.